Parks Climate Challenge is an initiative of the National Park Foundation to connect teachers and students with the science of climate change and what it means for national parks in particular. And so we want to connect students to those national parks, uh, let them know what climate change means for, for national parks, but also to empower them to be able to act on that knowledge. Erosion is one of the top five sand, soil, silt, sediment is the encompassing phrase, is one of the biggest pollutants in our water bodies. The Mississippi National River and Recreation Area is the national park uh, unit to represent the meaning uh, and importance of the Mississippi River for our country. So that means that we represent the natural history of the Mississippi River and the human history and culture here, the recreational values and, and the economic values too of this river. Well, this year I'm getting more ideas about how climate change is really affecting Minnesota and um, predictions for the future of our state, the river. So I'm getting ideas on how to talk to my students about that, what kinds of changes they can expect in their lifetimes, and what they can do about that. The river is always uh, changing and uh, you know it's changing from development along the river and it's changing now from climate change but uh, we um, can observe changes in either direction. We can see people working to improve the river, we can see uh, pressures that cause greater runoff pollution, but the river's always changing and it's changing in response to the conditions that people create. And now we're kind of faced with a new one in the form of climate change. It's an adult eagle. Today we have approximately 40 eagles nests along the river in the Twin Cities. At the river we can kind of see in the first place the magic of the river. So I want teachers to come away from this experience here on the river with a sense of the beauty of the river, the magic of the river, but also to see some, some evidence of the wildlife and the uh, ways that people um, can impact the river for better or for worse. And, and to you know, bring that story back into the classroom. We have a huge walleye and sauger fishery. And so, you know, depending on how far this goes and how much the temperature regime increases, we may see their numbers diminish at first and because they'll become less successful at reproducing. Climate change is, you know, in my head all the time. As a father and as a teacher, and I'm really worried about it. So I don't take the worry with me, I hope. I, I take the possibilities with me all the time. So the National Parks piece, and having access to them around here has been um, an opportunity I've enjoyed for a while and now I get to make it more intentional, make it more of a, a link to what we want to do with the children. Locally, the partners of the Parks Climate Challenge are the Will Steger Foundation, the National Park Service at the Mississippi National River and Recreation Area, and the Mississippi River Fund. And each of those partners kind of has, has a special role to play and the uh, well, Steger Foundation is one of the national leaders in climate change education. The National Park Service has knowledge about the Mississippi River and river education. And then the Mississippi River Fund is designed to support the work of the National Park Service here at the Mississippi River. One of our great hopes for this project, too, is that we can empower students with the idea that they can be um, change agents, too. They can deal with big problems and be part of the solution. And so if we succeed in that, what we've created is the next generation of citizens. Mm -hmm.